If you look at the scenery around you, you will see that it looks as though Earth is quite flat. Thousands of years ago, people did not have any scientific equipment with which to study the Earth. A lot of what they understood about the Earth was like guesswork. Therefore, many of their beliefs about Earth and the universe were quite odd. In this lesson we will examine some beliefs about the universe and the development of astronomy. Because of our scientific understanding, we know today, that the Earth is a sphere or round shape. We also know that the planets in our solar system orbit the Sun. Scientists know that our Sun is one of billions of stars in our galaxy called the Milky Way. This lesson is divided into four parts. Ancient times, medieval and renaissance times, modern times, and African beliefs. This map shows the position of the ancient civilizations of Egypt, India, China, Greece and Arabia. Perhaps because they were surrounded by desert, the ancient Egyptians thought that their world was everything that existed. They believed that the earth was flat. They thought that the Nile River flowed through the center of the earth. On either side were huge mountains. They knew about metals. So they thought the sky was a large, round metal roof. The sky had holes in it. The sky was lit up by giant gods who held lamps. They thought that the stars, moon and sun were the light of the lamps shining through the holes in the metal roof. The Hindus in ancient India considered the elephant to be a very sacred animal. They thought that the earth was a flat disc supported by four elephants. The elephant stood on the back of a turtle. The turtle, they believed, rested on a huge snake that existed in a strange ocean. The ancient Chinese had a similar idea to that of the Hindu people. They could feel earthquakes but did not know what caused them. So, the Chinese thought that the earth was a bowl carried on the back of an enormous toad. Each time, the toad moved, the earth began to shake. This is how they thought earthquakes occurred. Ancient Greece was a complex and advanced civilization. The people of ancient Greece had more advanced ideas about the Earth, Moon, stars and the solar system. Different Greek thinkers made astronomical discoveries and observations. Aristarchus of Samos came to believe that the Sun was the center of the solar system and that all the planets revolved around it. He was most likely the first person to conclude that the Sun is the center of the solar system. Eratosthenes, another Greek thinker, lived at the same time as Aristarchus. Eratosthenes believed that the Earth is round. He calculated the circumference of the Earth with very simple scientific instruments. He was actually almost correct with his calculations of the Earth's circumference. One of the most famous Greeks was Aristotle. The Greeks had boats that traveled over the seas to other lands for trade. Aristotle looked across the ocean and saw that, as a ship moved further away from land, it seemed to disappear over the horizon. He figured that this meant that the Earth is a round shape. He also studied the moon and realized that, during a lunar eclipse, the shadow of the Earth cast a round shape on the moon. This, for Aristotle, was further proof that the Earth is a sphere. However, Aristotle believed that the Sun, planets and stars revolved around the Earth. Ptolemy, yet another Greek, 
agreed with Aristotle's idea that the Earth was the center of the solar system. He made mathematical calculations to prove that his ideas were true. The theory that proposes that the Sun, planets and stars revolve around the Earth is known as the geocentric model. The word geo means Earth. This ancient map shows how the geocentric model looked according to ancient thinkers. You can see that the Earth is surrounded by the Sun, planets that were known at the time, and the stars. This diagram will give you a clearer idea about how the geocentric model works. As people traveled and traded, the ideas of the Greeks spread to Arab and other Asian countries. Many Arab astronomers were very brilliant scientists. They developed the ideas of the Greeks and most of them supported the idea of the geocentric model. Arab astronomers like al Batani and al Hasan are well known for their astronomical observations. During the medieval times in Europe, the Roman Catholic Church had a lot of power and had a great influence upon what common people believed. Common people could not read and write. They thought that the Roman Catholic Church had God power to rule. It was a time when there was little development in the sciences. The Roman Catholic Church believed that since God had made humans, and that humans were the most important thing in God's creation, it meant that Earth had to be the center of God's creation. So, the Church supported the geocentric model of the solar system. This is what the Church taught to the common people. Most common people were not educated and they had to agree with the church. European people in the medieval times believed that the earth was flat. They believed that if you sailed too far away from land, your ship could be eaten by ugly sea monsters. Even worse, it was thought that if you sailed too far away, you would fall off the edge of the flat earth. The Renaissance time in Europe was a time when scientific knowledge began to flourish. Nicolaus Copernicus lived in Poland. He calculated that the Earth rotates on its own axis and that the Sun is the center of the solar system. This is called the heliocentric theory of the solar system. Copernicus wrote a famous book about his theories, but he had to keep his idea secret, because if the Roman Catholic Church came to hear of his ideas, he would be put into prison. The European Space Agency have a space program called the Copernicus Program. It was launched in 2014 and helps people of Europe with information such as weather and other research. This old map shows how Copernicus thought that the Sun is the center of the solar system. The heliocentric model supports the idea that the Sun is the center of the solar system. The word helio means the Sun. Here is a more modern version of the heliocentric model to help you understand how it worked. Johannes Kepler, a mathematician and astronomer, 
supported the ideas of Copernicus. Kepler was a German from Germany. Kepler discovered that the planets do not revolve around the Sun in a perfect circle. He found that the planets revolve around the Sun in an elliptical or oval shape. Remember, that these astronomers did not have spacecraft or powerful telescopes. They must have been very brilliant people. In 2008, the Kepler telescope was launched into space to discover planets and other solar systems in the Milky Way. The mission ended in 2018 when the Kepler telescope ran out of fuel. Galileo Galilei was an Italian from Italy. He is often called the father of modern science because he made so many important scientific discoveries. He was possibly one of the first astronomers to use a telescope to observe space. He improved the telescopes of his time. Using his telescopes, he saw that the surface of the moon is covered with craters. He observed that the planet Jupiter has moons. He looked at the sun and discovered dark areas of the sun that we call sunspots. Most importantly, he supported the heliocentric model of the solar system. He also agreed that the Earth is a sphere. The Galileo space probe was launched by NASA in 1989 to make discoveries of Jupiter's moons. The mission ended in 2003, when it was programmed to crash into Jupiter. Since Galileo did not agree that the Earth is the center of everything, he was arrested by the Roman Catholic Church for heresy and put on trial because he supported the heliocentric theory. This made the church think that Galileo was evil. He was sentenced to house arrest for life and he had to renounce his scientific ideas. Many years later, we know that Galileo's ideas were true. Isaac Newton was a very famous scientist from England. He made important discoveries in science. He found that white light is made of the seven colors of the light spectrum. He also formulated laws about forces. In 1665, Newton explained the law of gravity. The story goes that he was sitting in his garden and watched an apple fall. This led him to explain how gravity works. Newton realized that the Earth as a sphere is spinning on its axis. As this happens, the gravity is formed. Gravity attracts everything towards the center of the Earth. The XMM Newton Space Telescope was launched in 1999. It has been used to make observations in space. In more modern times, science has developed new theories about Earth and the universe. For many years it was thought that our galaxy, the Milky Way, was the only galaxy. In the 1930s other galaxies were discovered by Edwin P. Hubble. Hubble was from the United States of America. He discovered that the universe is even bigger than humans ever imagined. He also realized that the universe is expanding and moving outwards. Some modern scientists believe that there may be more than one universe. The Hubble Telescope was launched by NASA in 1990. It has provided us with amazing images of space and important information about our Milky Way galaxy. This is a photograph taken by the Hubble telescope. It shows a few of the many galaxies that exist in space.
Many other important astronomical events happened in the 20th and 21st centuries. Here are some of them. There have been many, many more scientists and astronomical discoveries than mentioned here. In 1961, Yuri Garrigan was the first human to go into space. He was a Russian cosmonaut. The first men to walk on the moon were the American astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. This happened on 20th July, 1969. Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa in 1971. He now lives in United States and is a very wealthy man. His companies, SpaceX and Tesla, have made immense progress in the world of astronomy and have led to many new inventions and discoveries. Another well-known South African who went into space in 2002 is Mark Shuttleworth. He is the first African to go into space. In 2003, the Americans sent spacecraft to Mars. Many other spacecraft have been sent to other planets before and after 2003. An important date in South African astronomy is 2013 when the construction of the Square Kilometre Array began. This is a huge project that brought lots of international scientists and financial investments into South Africa. The Square Kilometre Array is connected to other major telescopes around the world. The Square Kilometre Array has been used to discover important phenomena such as the nature of dark matter. Perhaps, one day, you will make an important contribution towards astronomy. Here are the timelines we discussed in this lesson. Can you say what important events are shown on the timelines? African cultures have a rich heritage of oral storytelling. There are many African cultures in South Africa. Here are some beliefs that South Africans have about the sun, moon and stars. The Swana people believe that the stars were the spirits of people who did not want to be born. Venda people thought that the day and night are caused by an argument between the sun and the moon. The Sutu people believe that stars are little spiky animals, or lions, that watched the earth, at night. The San people believed, that the stars are the eyes, of the dead people looking down at earth. The Koza people also said that the stars, were insects, that fell to the earth, in the morning light. Some Zulu people, believe that the sun, is eaten by strange people each night. What are the beliefs that the people of your culture have about the universe? Ha <laughs> ha!